Dang it. That's kind of hard. Can only but do better going forward and don't doubt yourself on jumps. Yes, exactly, Azuri. Uh, world record is 1902. So I needed to jump a little bit later on that pattern for 3-4. So for those using the spreadsheet in this game, they can learn from my failures. Man, I really want this PB so bad, but <clears throat> I've got to get these difficult castle levels ironed out. And not have idiot boss moments. The hardest ones for me, the patterns at least, in 3-4 are the over at the beginning. If it's under, over, under, that one's easy. But if it's over, for some reason, those are really scary. That was good. But yeah, I agree, Azuri. I agree. Completely. Don't doubt yourself on jumps. Just hold right and win the prize. Haven't beaten SMB yet? It's a pretty tough game. 8-1 is, is a difficult one to learn. Steep learning curve, but it can be beaten. Thirty-nine. There we go. I told Darpy you get a thirty-nine, but I haven't proved it yet. So if he's still here, hopefully he saw that that one can get a thirty-nine if you play your cards right. To the right, jump, do the thing, win the prize. It's the truth, man. You gotta live by that motto. So what I do in these swimming levels is I look ahead. Supersonic taught me this. Look and see what the enemies ahead are doing. Not the ones that are right in front of you, but pay attention to the enemies that are just appearing on the right side of the screen. <clears throat> that way you can kind of preemptively prepare your... Um, you just know where they are and so on in advance. It does help. Uh oh. Whoa! Golly, man. These fish. They're vicious. <laughs> Look right, swim left. Oh, isn't that the truth, man? Elder Spork, hey, man. Thanks for the good luck. Hope you're having a good work day. As good of a work day as you can have at work.
That sucks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's a bad blunder right there, my friends. That's a really bad blunder. <sighs> Can I recover? Probably. <laughs> there is. That is most definitely Idiot Boss. Takate nailed it. It's most definitely Idiot Boss. <laughs> we got this. We got this. All right. Someone could just be joining the channel and think Takate is in your living room. <laughs> I don't I always wonder if that uh if it confuses anybody initially with idiot boss on the webcam. Idiot Boss, uh, giving a, a head nod to the Chocobo. I can't see it, because I'm look. I like, I had to glance at it as it happens, but I, I need to go back in the VOD and look. Or somebody clip it. I do want to check this out. Marty Feldman is here too. <laughs> I would prefer Idiot Boss as far as their company goes. <laughs> I'll give Marty Feldman the sweets. He can be his honorable guest. You've been cordially invited to Sweets of the Sweet stream, Marty Phil. The Sweets will give me a Fungineer emote in, re in reply. Or maybe Sweets likes that emote. I can't remember. I know he uses it, so maybe he likes it. <laughs> Takate got the clip. Nice. I want to see that later.
Afternoon, Dangerous. Sweets hates Fungineer. No P.O.P. That was close. I did not know he did. Uh, he hated OPOV. It's funny. <laughs> Sweets also hates Kipo, or is that Kipo? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Kipo either, honestly. Doesn't do much for me. That save, man, that save. All right, this one's in yellow, so that's not good. All right. We made it. That was scary. Sounds good, Mega Dave. Made it through the yellow, man. Did you guys like that Lakitu kill? It's always pretty cool. <clears throat> Dude, I got your goofy positivity here. I got your back. I'm here to help you. We got good vibes going on. Oh gosh, the vibes are almost gone. Oh, they almost left again. The vibes, man. Oh my goodness. Perception helps, Dangerous. <clears throat> it's all about how you perceive the things that happen to you in life. That's not the ultimate philosophical answer to happiness, but perception does help. That's a start. How do you perceive the way things happen to you in life? Life is but what we make it. I didn't have time to look at the spreadsheet. Six dot nine five. What would that have been? I think that would have been bad. I have a six dot six five, but then it goes to seven. The crap am I doing? <laughs> Happiness is a cheesecake. <laughs> I approve of Evad's statement. Happiness is a cheesecake, man. Isn't there a Beatles song, Happiness is a Warm Gun? It's probably not the answer. But I, I seem to recall... A Beatles song, something like that. That is not the answer. 
That Beatles song is not the answer to happiness. I'm just... I'm just going from Beatles trivia right now, trying to remember. <laughs> I know, like, the instant I said it, the instant I said it, I was like, no, do not, do not tell them about that song, because that's not the answer to happiness. Thank you, Carl. Oh my gosh. Yo, what's up, Unreal? Was in fact the Beatles. I thought so. It was a bad reference to the answer to happiness, though. <laughs> I should have went a different direction with that. I should have just left it at perception. Should have left it at cheesecake. <laughs> I know, right? Thanks, Crystal. And thank you, uh, Unreal, for the luck. Happiness is anything but small Mario Warpless. Yeah, dude. What's up, Master Zick? Long time no see, my friend. That's where all the time save came from, evidently. I'm doing great, man. Yes, man. Yes. Yes. One second away from world record and small fire warpless. One second away. That's the run we're looking for. That's the run we're looking for, man. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's so close. 
Yes! Oh my gosh, chat's blowing up, man. All the Cosmic Zs and Let's Go O's. <laughs> it's just Cosmic's dogs spammed across the whole chat. I love it. It's glorious.